And we're going to just lay these out. Jane Hughes prepares yellow roses for families of veterans. Yellow is, you know, when they come home. Sometimes our veterans come home from war, sometimes they don't. In Jane's case, her daughter Danielle did, but the war never left her. When they come home and they have issues, I mean, that's even more difficult because you don't know. Danielle joined the Air Force straight out of high school as America went to war with Iraq. She was a decorated airman, flying 130 sorties over eight deployments in the Middle East. Her time there spanned seven years, and she had finally made it back to friendly soil. But that's when her internal battle began. Danielle died by suicide just a few months after returning home. It's sort of like a hole in your heart and your life. Jane's only daughter was just 25. She still doesn't know what pushed her over the edge. I mean, so many moms, that's what they keep saying. Oh, you know, it's my fault or what could I have done? And, and that's a difficult part for the families that are left behind. Today, the families that are left behind get their own honor. A memorial for Gold Star moms and their families at Veterans Park in Linwood. To just remind people that we're still here. There are at least 850 mothers in Washington who have lost a child to our country's wars since 9-11. This memorial stands beside 22 empty seats in tribute to the American service members, like Danielle, who kill themselves every day. The Mother's Memorial embracing everyone in every Gold Star family, just as any mother would. You know, as a mom and a spouse, our job is always to be that strong person who holds everything together. As mothers, that's sort of our job to make sure everybody's talking and remembering. This is the third Gold Star Monument in the state of Washington. A fourth is being planned for the city of Lacey. In Linwood, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.